Everybody good? Woohoo! Right on. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's good food. We appreciate that. That was awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. Well, um, if, uh, all right, to do this the right way, we need to get prayed in, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, Brother Mike Roper, would you mind praying us in, if you don't mind? Our Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight thanking you, Lord, for the privilege that we have to come before you and to learn about you and about your word. And we thank you, Lord, for these children, and we thank you, Lord, for the fact that we know that if you're in their life, that their life will be much better, and their life will be something that can bring glory and honor to you. And Lord, we just thank you for each one here. We pray, Lord, that we might accomplish all that you would have us to, that we might bring glory and honor to you. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Brother Mike. Okay. So, um, we have our verse. Um, okay. Our verse for the week is uh, 1 Peter 2.21, right? And uh, for God called you to do good, even if it means suffering. Just as Christ suffered for you, he is your example, and you must follow in his steps. Okay. Pull it together. <laughs> Act natural. Everything, all, is, all is well. Okay. So, um, yes. So our first scripture text for the day is Matthew's, Matthew 3, 13 through 16. Okay, and I'll, I'll read it. Let's see. So, then Jesus arrived from Galilee at the Jordan, coming to John to be baptized by him. But John tried to prevent him, saying, I have, I have need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answering said to him, Permit it at this time, for in this way it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Chill, fellas. Okay. So, let's see. Um, that wasn't it. But Jesus answering said, Permit it at this time, for in this way it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then, then he permitted him. After being baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending as a dove and lighting on him. And behold, with a voice out of heavens said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Okay, big stuff. So what? Turn around. Turn around. Come on. You can do it. You do it in school, you're going to be fine. Okay, so what God, what uh, Jesus was doing at that time was he was going through what he needed to do. Do y'all have things you have to do in a certain way, like medicines you have to take in the morning or anything like that? I <laughs> Did you take those on the way here? No, um, so... <laughs> Yes, so we've got to do things in the right way, right? Okay? Um, if, okay, Jesus is the Son of God, right? And God set out things for him to do when he got here in a certain way, okay? Now, if God said to Jesus, you got to wear your name tag the whole time, then Jesus was putting his name tag on his head. <laughs> do you think that would have worked out for all of us, right? If Jesus was like, no, I'm just going to whatever. No, it wouldn't help, would it? Okay. Would we be suffering? What would have happened if Jesus didn't go to heaven? If he didn't do any of all the things for us, right? If he was just like, eh, I'm good. I think I'm just going to be me. No, it would be a terrible thing. Okay. So we have to, we have to turn on our thinker, thinking cap, little dudes. Okay. We got to turn on our big boy thinking, thinking thoughts. Okay. We love God. We're glad to be here but we got to act a little normal at times. Okay, easy, bro. Easy, bro. Easy, bro. Okay? All right. Don't jump off a bridge. All right. <laughs> 
So, uh, our next verse is Mark 1, 9 through 15. Excuse me. Okay. They'll never make it. I love them, but they'll never make it through this. Mark 1, 9 through, 9 through 15. Okay. Oh, did I say that out loud? Okay. Y'all are doing much better. Okay. Um, this is in the gospel according to Mark. Uh, in those days, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and baptized with John, by John in the Jordan. Okay. So basically, we'll skip all this. All right. Um, we know what a promise is, right? Okay. What it, Okay, great. Um, so a promise, right, okay. We know what wedding rings are, right? Okay. So those, whoever said no, go outside. So, yeah. So, okay, well, a baptism back in those days um, is not done so commonly. Up here behind these ferns is a, is a, uh, is a little tank that we baptize people in, okay? All we do is fill it with water, right? And then the pastor after, or whomever, after the person is, uh, receives Christ, they get baptized, right? Okay, that's just part, part of it. You must be getting, uh, born of water and the Spirit. So it is a, it's a cleansing for us. Though it's not going to get the dirt off of you. It's not going to get all the crazy out of you. Okay? Right. But it is, a, it is a symbol, right, like a wedding ring. Okay? Like a wedding ring or uh, like a promise saying that we are dedicating our lives anew. Okay? Like it would be like dedicating yourself not to acting crazy. Okay? So that's what, that's kind of what it is. You, you dedicate yourself to a new walk in life, right, when you are baptized, okay? All old things are passed away, all things are made new, that whole thing. Pretty cool. So um, back in those days, it was a covenant to get baptized. So essentially, that's what Jesus is doing to say, hey, I'm here. I'm ready to take my rightful place in all of this. And I'm ready to move on as, as the Christ himself. And God wasn't passing that on until certain parameters, certain things are done, right? You have to get baptized. You got to do things my way. And in that way, God was, or in that way, listen, in that way, Christ was honoring his father at that point, right? Jesus was doing what his dad wanted him to do. Everybody understand that? Let's do this. Yep. Okay, great. Everybody worn out? Everybody, who's tired? No? Yeah. Everybody in there? Yes. No. Awesome. Okay. Great. Well, I'm, I'm good with those things. I feel like our lesson has been absorbed. Okay. Um, yes, we have travelers coming. Yes. Oh, hang on a second. Songs for day three. Yes. Music, yes. Cue the music. Dance, children. Dance. Dance and sing.
I think that's enough bouncing. Bounce. So where you're, are you? You're not as young as you used to be. No. I can't bounce like I used to be. So where are you dragging me off to today? We're heading to Bethany. It's, it's uh, outside of Jordan, near the Jordan River. Why are you dragging me off there? Well, I heard that there's this wild man there. <laughs> and I know how you like wild men. And so I thought you'd like to see him. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, is he single? Yeah, maybe. Uh, anyway, um, do I even need to ask? No, you do not need to ask. I know where I'm going. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Because if you look right here, Hey, that's, that's our, our friend. Fr that's our friend. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> um, yes. Where are y'all going now? We're going that way to to the Jordan River. If if that's uh, the keep way. going the way you're going, there ought to be a lot of people going to see him. Good. Uh, yeah, what was this? Who guy's? are y'all looking for? John the Baptist. Oh. Mister the Baptist. Mister the Baptist. Mr. The yes. Baptist, yep. I knew mm -hmm. him when he was just the. Well, come on. I want to get a good spot. I don't want to be sitting in the back. I want, I want to see what this wild man's all about. Come on. Let's bounce. You got to bounce with me? Yeah. Ba bounce. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> bounce. Uh -uh. Bounce. My bouncing days are yeah, done. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> come on. Let's go. Let's go to the river. We're going to the river. We're going to the uh, river. I hope it ain't dried up. Oh. That'd be bad. Awesome. All right, y'all about to y'all about to go to your classes and everything. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Yes. So, from what I hear, wait. This somebody would, was promoting the girl. Yes, the money thing, tithes and offerings. Someone was trying to foil the male global domination scheme here by Connie. There she goes right now. There's Connie. Connie, put this on my back. 
It says give to the girls on there. Oh. No. No. So if, yes, don't give to the coronavirus. I don't even know how you'd do that. Okay. Yes. Tithes and offerings, if you don't mind, on the way out the door is fine. Uh, yes, remember, Connie would, Connie's going to love pie. We're going to get her something that she won't choke on, nothing like that. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, we're going to pray. We're going to pray out. Beth, would you mind praying us out? Okay. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for all these wonderful children who have come and the adults who have come as well to hear your, your word, to hear your message during this Bible school. Lord, be with each one of the children. Be with each one of the teachers as they go from class to class. And Lord, I pray that you, were open, you will open their hearts, Lord, and that you will give, a, give them the vessels. They are the vessels. Lord, I pray that you will fill them up. Lord, I pray that you will be with us through this night. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen.